Hello, busy professionals. Today I'm going to share with you a way of really assessing how burnout is affecting you emotionally so that you can see if you are being burned out. Now this is really important because oftentimes we miss it. We don't really know that we are burned out and often when I start working with people, that's when they really discover it. So I'm gonna give you an acronym so that you can easily identify several different ways in which burnout can affect you emotionally. So what I did was I came up with the acronym, A Sad Idea. And so we're gonna walk through this one by one for you to really have a good sense. So the first letter stands for apathetic. No, are you noticing that in your job you just are losing that passion. You're just not really excited anymore. You're apathetic about what happens because you're just so over it, right? Oftentimes we feel like work is a grind and it starts to get to us and so we lose our motivation. So is that happening for you? If so, it might be a sign. Another one is stressed. Now that's an obvious one. Stress is actually the main thing that we see is that it starts, burnout happens when we feel stressed over time. It's a chronic condition. So are you feeling stressed all the time? It might not be in and of itself enough to give you a diagnosis of burnout, but something to certainly pay attention to. Next, are you feeling anxious at work? Are you always worried about what's gonna happen if you don't meet your deadlines, if, um, if there are things on your to-do list that you're not gonna get to? what people are gonna think about you, if the things that you're working on are going to fail. All of this produces anxiety and keeps you feeling really agitated at work. Are you feeling dissatisfied, either with the work that you're doing or the place in which you work? You know, oftentimes we come into our place of work to get a sense of purpose, to feel like what we're doing is meaningful, that we're contributing. And if you don't feel that, and if you're feeling dissatisfied in terms of the work that you're doing, or even in how much you're accomplishing, you're just not satisfied in how your efforts are not translating into some sort of reward or accomplishment, then that can leave you feeling dissatisfied. So, um, the next thing to really notice is, are you feeling impatient, right? When we are agitated, we tend to have, we kind of lose our patience. And so, are you noticing that you're just not yourself? Usually, you might be more patient, more understanding if somebody else is not necessarily doing what they say they're going to be doing in the time that they're doing it. or. Um, are you kind of always in a rush because you feel like there's so much that you have to do that you're not even patient with yourself? So is impatience a big thing that you're challenged with at work? Depressed is the next thing. So depression is really feeling this sense of, and, and again, it can be expressed in a variety of different ways. So if that speaks to you, uh, that's good enough, right? But the idea is that maybe you've lost interest in your job and you feel like you're just kind of pulling yourself to work every day, but you're just not really excited to be there? Do you feel like you're feeling depressed or down, feeling sad a lot of the time, right? So is your mood really affected? Is it affecting you in the way that um, you sleep? Are you having a hard time around other people? Do you feel like you need to isolate? Is, is it affecting your appetite? So all of these things are things that need to be monitor to see how um, your work situation is really infiltrating your personal emotional life. Next, exasperated. Now, oftentimes when we're in a burnout situation, it's because as I said, it's chronic, you've been going through this stuff a long time, and if you haven't figured out a solution, you haven't been able to get yourself out of the situation, it might start to feel like it's never gonna end and that can make you feel exasperated. So notice, are you in that situation? Do you notice that all these things are happening, you're feeling all these emotions, and it just doesn't feel like it's gonna end, right? And lastly, it can make you angry. Being in a situation like this where you feel like you don't have enough control, you have so many demands on you, can feel really infuriating. So are you, as we said before, if you're impatient, it might, are you taking it out on other people? Are you angry at yourself for not getting more accomplished for not doing more 
right? So um, notice your self-talk. Are you angry and having all these kind of angry thoughts about other people? Putting people down or are you putting yourself down and really feeling like upset with your own progress? So again, this is an easy way for you to really remember a variety of different ways in which burnout can affect you emotionally. Now, uh, I didn't really introduce myself, but I'm Dr. Sharon Grossman, and I am a coach that helps people in this situation. And what, the reason I'm creating this video today is because I want you to have a great understanding of the different ways in which burnout can be affecting you. And I think it's so important for you to clearly and accurately assess burnout so that you can get the help that you need. So if this was helpful for you, what I would recommend is that you go to coachingbysharing.com to download your free 40 page workbook that is really a way to assess how burnout's affecting you so you get some more clarity, you have an opportunity to write some of this stuff out, to really see how it sits with you because just watching this video is a passive activity but I want you to take it to the next level. So go to coachingbysharing.com, download your free workbook and get activated, get on top of this so that this doesn't have to linger any longer. I will see you tomorrow with my next tip about overcoming and avoiding burnout. In the meantime, have a wonderful day.